Farm Boy Reef here. Uh, we're just down here at the Nash Creek uh, here with my father, uh, Ralph Merkley. Um, we want to give you a little bit of insight on how this creek uh, got its name, uh, the Nash Creek. So with my father, Ralph Merkley, um, he was going to give us a little uh, history lesson on how the Nash Creek uh, name came about, a little bit of through history and time. Yeah, Ryan, uh, our ancestors were uh, the first settlers to settle this area right here. Uh, they, in 1832, they bought this land on either side of the creek and uh, from actually from the Merkley's, from Jacob Merkley. Yep. And uh, it hadn't been developed or cleared yet. And so they went about uh, clearing this land. Uh, they owned approximately 200 acres on either side uh, from the river to, uh, north back approximately uh, one concession yep. uh, and anyhow as they uh, developed this property uh, they they put a dam across the creek and uh, they built a, a sawmill uh, grist mill and a shingle factory uh, it was uh, water powered or steam powered yep. in the water and uh, they owned this property for, for uh, approximately 121 years. And uh, at the time, the uh, American and Canadian government decided they were going to dam up the river, uh, to deepen the river and allow ocean-going uh, vessels to come up the St. Lawrence River to be able to do uh, more commerce and go deeper into uh, the continent, yep. up to the Great Lakes. Yep. And so they, when they decided to do that, build a dam, uh, what happened, they bought out and expropriated all the land uh, from the dam west, uh, up the river so many miles. And that come about uh, our, the last, uh, family member Arthur Nash sold sold the land here to the government. Yep. And uh, where the, where the buildings were actually on out approximately a quarter of a mile, which is now which is under approximately uh, 25 feet of water. Um, so anyhow, uh, that was the end of the Nashes owning this land. And, yeah. Uh, at that time too there was a road run along the south side of the creek here called Nash Road which was you know taken away uh, when the sale took place yep and um, so that was yeah that was the end of it and it was named this this creek had its uh, name the Nash Creek before the Nashes actually bought this land They'd lived in this area for many years prior to that, and uh, the War of 1812-13, uh, it was known as Nash Creek. Yeah. There's a commemorative sign along the highway uh, by the, the bridge that was built after they flooded this land. Uh, there was an incident that took place there on November the 7th. 1832, uh, American forces were advancing down the King's Highway or number two, the old number two, and uh, John Laux was, was with the British yep. forces. He observed them coming down the highway, so to slow down their advance, he set fire to the old wooden bridge and uh, slowed down their advance considerably. It's out where the, the the old wooden bridge used to be, which is about a quarter mile out, is quite the deep ravine. And I'm sure they struggled a little bit to get their cannons across there once there was no bridge. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it's, and it's been called the Nash Creek ever since uh, in this area. So it, it goes inland approximately, uh, Seven miles. Yeah, seven it, miles. It drains several thousand acres north of us here. Yep. Yeah. And uh, interesting, 
when they flooded flooded this land and the and all uh, the this area they flooded approximately 30, 38,000 acres so that goes to show you the extent yeah of that project exactly when they built that dam uh, displaced a lot of, of uh, early settlers uh, several small towns were moved yeah Ryan a lot of uh, local people don't uh, don't know you know a lot of the history that went on out along here and uh, a lot don't realize the extent like the Nashes they owned a lot of businesses out in the Morsevik area yes you know from uh, Fred Fred Nash he, uh, he was a tailor yep Morseburg Sam, Samuel Nash he had a blacksmith shop uh, Joseph and Ralph Nash and William they run the, the, the businesses here uh, there's other ones at machine shop tinsmith uh, a te school teacher a lawyer yep uh, they had a lot of influence on this community uh, or yeah you know uh, I'll make it what it is today. That's true. Uh, yeah, uh, a lot of people don't realize that, but anyhow, uh, yes, they they uh, they were well known in this area, and you know, this, our our ancestors' land got bought up or expropriated here, but yep. uh, we're not out of the picture yet. Uh, <laughs> that's where the name Nash Creek Farms came from. Yeah, Nash Creek Farms. Yeah. From uh, from our ancestors that lived here and farmed at one time, and we own farms on north of here, back at the eighth, ninth concession, all the way out to the fifth concession. Uh, we own a piece of property, a farm that uh, this creek flows through yep. to this day, and uh, so our family's not out of the picture yet. Not yet. That name's going to continue on. Yep. And I believe maybe uh, that property, we may go and visit it today. Yep. Talk a little bit about it. Yep. We have one more location that we can check out for uh, the Nash Creek area. Yeah. Yep. So I hope you people uh, yeah. get a little more informed uh, yep. about the history yep. of, the, of this creek and how it acquired its name. Exactly. Yep. Well, that was a lot of, that was a lot of great, that was a great history uh, lesson, guys, um, from my father, uh, Ralph Merkley. And uh, we're down here at the Nash Creek. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, you're with uh, Farm Boy Reef and my father, and we're at the Nash Creek. So you please subscribe, hit the like button, guys, and you never know what other adventure we're going to take you on. Thanks. Bye. Bye.